Excuse me, miss. I'm, I'm, I'm lost. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Uh, uh, where, where, where is this place? Excuse me. During the dating days, um, Miss Salima, I was very fearful of Salima families, especially her father. He was, uh, he was really a boxer. But I stood my ground, I stood firm. Salima told me, no, we can't get married because the family doesn't, doesn't, you know, allow us. But I told her, no, I cannot live without you because I know that she is the love of my life. Becoming a father the first time is um, very painful. And I keep on thinking, you know, um, how can I perform a, a good job, you know, for, a, as a father? But Salima has said that I was a good father. I was definitely uh, fearful of uh, public speaking, but I still very firm. I just uh, carry on with all the uh, engagement that I have and just continue. But now, I'm very fearful of losing my mind. I was having a tremendous uh, migraine, headaches. I, I, I keep on forgetting a lot of things, you know. Then um, I remember one day while trying to switch on the uh, stove and I couldn't uh, switch on the stove. And the best part was uh, Sarima finding me drinking coffee inside the toilet, then I know that, 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 that there was something serious about me. So we decided to get the diagnosis. And you know, when, 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 when it, it, it was confirmed that I was having young onset dementia, I couldn't take it. I went back home. I still my tap at my balcony. I was in a depression mood. It was very bad. It was terrible. It was torturous. But, come on. I don't want my life to be that way. I want to put a full stop to that. I start Googling. I start to get everything. You know, I sketch everything on my notebooks, you know, about every information about young onset dementia. I wrote it down, you know, I put it uh, in a nice format. For who? For Salima and for my three children. Then I call one by one my children. Yes, they couldn't take it. They saw that strong, always in control, a father figure as now having dementia. I told them, enough. You know, we move on. This is not the end. When I first heard of his diagnosis of dementia, I really got shocked. I cried and it was really heartbreaking. And I remembered the promise I made to him 32 years ago to do through the challenge all together through our marriage. And luckily, I have a supportive loving and caring children to help us and I will support him till the end. Yeah, life goes on. I just take it one day at a time. Every day I clean the cat litter, I water the plants, I watch TV, I read newspapers. My wife Sarima reminds me to play. I take my meals at set times. And to me, routine is very, very good. It helps me a lot. I love going out to the park, 
and meet friends you know, for tea or coffee. That's why I want to educate people, to help them understand about dementia. So we all know how to react around people with dementia and provide the right support. I share my story to support other person with uh, dementia. I'm um, a self-advocator for dementia. After all, courage is not absent of fear, but the time of it. Whatever life throws back to me, I will keep on fighting because I have a good, strong family support. That's it. Be Sanjang. I just doesn't know how to lose.